This is SAT test six, non-calculator question number 14. College Board gives us a word problem that ends with which of the following systems of inequalities. When you see that phrase and all four choices are systems of inequalities, it's this type of problem where you're trying to match the correct system to the words of the problem. In general, it's easier to take one phrase or a pair of phrases from the words of the problem and rule out incorrect answers until one answer is left rather than writing your system and then trying to rearrange it to match one of their answer choices. So let's take a look at what we have here. Supplier will deliver no more than 300 pounds in a shipment. Detergent weighs 7.35 pounds per container. Fabric softener weighs 6.2 pounds per container where D is the number of containers of detergent and S is the number of containers of fabric softener. So the total weight of a shipment would be the weight of detergent times the number of detergent is 7.35 D plus the weight of fabric softener times the number of fabric softener which is 6.2 S and that's 7.35 D plus 6.2 S Supplier will deliver no more than 300 pounds, so that quantity has to be less than or equal to 300. And all four choices have less than or equal to 300, but only choices A and B are 7.35D plus 6.2S. C and D double the weight of detergent, but that's based on a different statement, not one that deals with the total weight of the shipment. In choices C and D, 14.7 times the number of containers of detergent is twice what your detergent weighs, and that incorporates the statement that we're about to address, but that statement should not be incorporated for weight because D is the number of containers, not whatever it is that they're thinking there. Now let's look at this D greater than 2S or 2D greater than equal to S. We're told that the service wants to buy at least twice as many containers of detergent as containers of fabric softener. And many of us find it awkward to go from that to either D greater than or equal to 2S or 2D greater than or equal to S. I like to make up something simple. If I have one container of fabric softener, S equals 1, and I want twice as many containers of detergent as I have fabric softener, I want 2D two detergents if I have one S, one fabric softener, and that would be twice as many containers of detergent as fabric softener. So if S is one, D has to be at least two. That would be choice A and not choice B. Or if I were over here, when S is one, D would be at least two. That would be C and not D. But I already ruled out choice C because of the first equation. So the only answer choice that matches those parts of the question is choice A that would be the correct choice in this problem. College Board typically asks six systems of equations problems and one of them will be either writing a system of equations or a system of inequalities from a word problem. Come back soon for my next math video. With math there's always more.